Assalamu alaikum. I am Taifa and you are watching your own channel audio visual books. Why teach online by Nida Mulji is our today's opinion in daily dawn. It's 6 July 2020. Please like and subscribe to be updated daily. Let's start our today's opinion article in daily dawn. Many schools and universities have been resisting the need of plunge into di um, digitizing education due to various technological and organizational challenges. Many of them have been waiting for the tide, of, tide to turn, hope that we will be able to resume normal life in the near future. West, we don't know when the world will emerge from the COVID-19 crisis. What is getting clearer by the day is that there has been a paradigm shift in um, education and the quicker educational institutions get on to the online uh, bandwagon the <coughs> better for the students they have been established to serve students have changed dramatically they are now accustomed to the players of learning anywhere anytime in the comfort of their beds and in the safety of their homes they have also been introduced to digital uh, socializing and uh, as teachers have witnessed chat boxes are uh, full of uh, students sharing stories with each other during and after class students also use search engines most uh, more deftly and independently they are working on um, collaborative uh, projects with greater is showcasing stage of a portfolio sharing pictures for youtube's videos uh, that they have made bandwidth issue notwithstanding students are learning first how to become digital leaders in this brave new world of online education they have found a springboard for their digital footprints and have discovered that there is learning beyond borders space and time we are in the process of creating a generation of independent learners youtubers bloggers and digital entrepreneurs who need direction encouragement and empowerment Schools can contribute with setting up the infrastructure, the driving tool, as it were, for this post-pandemic growth. Many institutions find themselves stalling this growth, hoping for a return back to normal soon. Whilst we all hope for the best, what is what this normal will look like? Is anyone guess? Change is always hard. But it is also perhaps the only certainty we have in life. And as they say, Every change can be turned into opportunity. Online teaching gives educators a wide platform to increase their outreach and impact. It is highly improbable. Um, it is highly improbable for a university professor to speak regularly to a group of audience that extends to hundreds or goes into thousands. <clears throat> but uh, live webinars provide the opportunity to share teaching and learning in unprecedented ways. Knowledge sharing has always led constructive change in the world. Online teaching now offers this revolutionary capacity. Every change can be turned into opportunity. For researchers who have been unable to find a traditional platform to publish digital outreach offers the tools for, of uh, podcasting and uh, broadcasting. Individuals can now be entrepreneurs of their own intellectual cap capital. However, those who are a part of an established institution would fare even better with direction and structure. That is where the state can play a role uh, to facilitate gaps in learning. Like individuals, institutions need directives with the plan and uh, goals in place. The state can buffer institutions, especially those uh, catering to higher education as a mean of uh, retaining students and facilitating the path of uh, graduation. In the post-pandemic times, we will need our graduates and young adults to be the uh, engineers of our struggling economy. Quite recently, Canada has announced support for university students to get paid in internship for as part of um, a work placement program, recognizing the need to help uh, students and fresh graduates stay afloat uh, through the pandemic and beyond. Other places like the UAE uh, have developed structures uh, uh, directives to help schools uh, through online education and a safe return to uh, school in September. We might do uh, well. Uh, we might we might do well to learn from such states as uh, they provide expertise and um, financial support or to buffer the education sector. Whilst many st many schools have been struggling with the transformative technological tools, there is much to celebrate too. 
most private sector schools in the UAE are now running some kind of online education program, albeit on the are uh, on a trial and error basis. Many of them have started attempting new techniques such as enabling students to upload their homework and giving uh, digital assi- assessments and venturing into new teaching strategies such as uh, flipped learning. They have gone into uncharted territory and are in encouraging students to learn unprecedented ways of acquiring education. The time is also ripe to incorporate cross-border learning by using students' app, uh, students apps uh, that could not previously become a part of classroom teaching such as online games, animated storybooks, and infographics. The challenges of online teaching are manifold. Yeah, but so are the rewards. Connectivity, connectivity issues, technical hurdles, and lack of expertise um, compound this problem. And we do have to learn fast to uh, cater to the intense demand for the online education. However, when we come out um, on the other side, we would uh, have opened doors for uh, posterity to a wider, brave new world with far more opportunities than we ever had before. The writer works at Oxford University Press, Pakistan. Pa- published in dawn july 6th 2020 please like and subscribe to listen more articles opinions editorials and columns in urdu and many audiovisual books thank you for listening